Sketch gives us a number of ways to export our artboards, uh, the most common probably being to select an artboard or several artboards, and then over on the inspector to make it exportable, where then you can spit out a PNG or a PDF, whatever you need to hand off to somebody else. So what we might want to do is create a contact sheet where we really just see what we see on the canvas. We see all the artboards next to one another. And you might head to file and try maybe export artboards to PDF if you want to create a PDF of all these artboards. But when you do that, they're each going to be on a separate page of the PDF. It's not going to lay them all out the way we see them on the canvas. So if you just want to grab the way your canvas is laid out, uh, what I've found that a number of people do is they create an artboard around all of their existing artboards, but that can cause certain problems when you're using tools like Inspect, for example, and you're trying to hand off assets to a developer. So the recommended workflow is to not put an artboard around other artboards. That's not the way you go about it. In fact, there is a separate tool called a Slice that is perfect for doing something like this. So if I press S on the keyboard, it's going to switch to my Slice tool, and I can click and drag a bounding box around all these artboards, and when I let go, that slice, now you can see immediately over here on the right-hand side, because a slice is a feature that's really just for export, the moment you create a slice, it assumes that slice is going to be an exportable element, and it's ready for us to just change our settings and spit this thing out. So I could even switch this to a PDF, and now I don't have to worry so much about the size of my graphics here, at least the vector elements. I do still have to worry about the raster elements. So if I say that I want to export this at 3x, I also have the option of trimming transparent pixels if I have a big blank area around here. Um, or I could add a background color. I could put these on like a dark gray uh, background if I wanted to instead of the white background. And uh, when I'm ready, these are ready to uh, export now. I can just click Export Selected and uh, put that where I want it. I can name these whatever I want. I can name this Contact Sheet, for example, which is really a photography term. Now, I'm hitting Save. It's creating a PDF, so it takes a moment for it to create all those assets and bundle them into the PDF. But here we have it. We have our Contact Sheet PDF, and it's taking a moment to load. My computer's struggling just a tad because I'm recording at the same time as I'm doing all of this. But here I have that contact sheet on my custom background color. It's a PDF. The resolution is phenomenal. The text is perfectly crisp. And I'm ready to pass this off to someone who needs to see all those artboards at once. But if I need to annotate things, and uh, if this is part of a collaborative process of collecting feedback or giving feedback, a contact sheet or a PDF is really not the best way to go about it. And I do recommend using the same tool that I use. Uh, for those of you who want to do some collaborative whiteboarding. Uh, this is a plugin that's completely free that also works with a free Envision account, and it's called Craft. Um, this toolbar that you see here on the right-hand side, that's the Craft toolbar, which you can download and install from envisionapp.com slash craft. And when you download and install Craft, one of the features that you'll get, you'll see this little icon here that looks like a pencil. Uh, this is a tool called Freehand, and Freehand is a collaborative online whiteboard where you can take your entire sketch canvas and with a click or two, I can just create a new freehand, give it a name. Uh, we'll name this Card Music App. And then I got to choose which account I want it to go to because I have multiple accounts here. And when I choose Create Freehand, it's automatically going to take my entire canvas and it's going to send it up to Envision where I can immediately start collaborating with other people. So I can invite other people to this document and they can start drawing. And uh, there's of course freehand drawing tools, uh, but if I needed to go in here and make a comment like these buttons are a little too far apart, I could draw a nasty little arrow. I'm drawing on a trackpad right now. Uh, and then I could also hold the option key and draw a bad circle and it'll turn it into a good circle because I was holding the option key. So that's pretty cool. It does some great shape recognition. And um, I could also leave a comment here. I could press the letter T, and I could say icons need to be nudged inward a tad. You know, we'll say this feedback isn't very precise. Um, but the other cool thing is if I leave a little note here, um, I could also click up here and turn it into a sweet little sticky note. And I could take that sticky note, put it where I want it, and uh, as many people as we want can be collaborating in this document. We actually had a company meetup where uh, we had 
about 800 people in the room, and all 800 people joined the same freehand, which was up on a projector, and we were all drawing at the same time. And I've done it with my class at LCAD, where we're all drawing at the same time, and it's just a really great way to get people in the same room, either remotely or physically in the same space, um, to start collaborating and sharing ideas. It's really, really phenomenal, and it beats the heck out of a PDF. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to make it easier for other folks to find it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And to learn more about Sketch, I'll put a link down below so you can check out my complete Sketch course on Udemy. All right, see you soon.